Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back again doing your August 2015 monthly tarot horoscope. This is for everyone with their ascendant sun or moon in the lovely Cancer, my Krabby Pants clients and subscribers. Um, thank you so much for um, subscribing and Google Plusing and liking all my videos. I appreciate it so much. I can't get back to every message, but I do read all messages and all emails and everything. So, um, you know, thank you so much for reaching out to me and um, I appreciate it when you do. So, um, and I am also uh, doing my, you know, private session. So if you'd like to have a private reading with me, feel free to email me, elizabetholson31 at gmail.com. Um, also, I am doing couples sessions. So if you and your partner, you know, want to have a session, um, there are some rules to it. And it's not like regular counseling. It's, you know, I, I'm looking at three spreads, one for you, one for your partner, and one for both. Um, so uh, it's really dynamic and really helpful to, to have that reading. Um, and then also, uh, I am doing still my tarot cord cutting combo. Um, so if you like, you're more interested in that, that reach out, please reach out to me. And you can find more information about uh, my schedule and pricing and everything on the about section of my YouTube channel. So there's like an about link. Um, so you just click on it and you can check it out. Um, so yeah, so that said, I am back using my regular Shadowscapes deck uh, by Stephanie Pui Moon Law, okay? And uh, I did lay out a spread for you. I just sat my computer for a moment. I did lay out a spread for you. And I'm just going to jump into it. Um, um, the card that's showing up in the immediate future is as well as um, the card that's, that's coming, that's represents the energy that's coming in from the outside. Um, to me, it's a very clear message. Um, so I'm just gonna talk on it a minute here or two. Um, you've got the Justice card in the immediate future, and you got the Tower card coming in from the outside. Um, and I feel like this is gonna happen in the middle of August, okay? Um, I feel very strongly around the 14th, 15th, um, 17th, 18th. Uh, those, those numbers are the really strong for this reading. Um, no, I don't always get numbers, but I am getting those. It may happen early September or even into October. Um, you know, should Mercury retrograde really screw things up? Um, there is a Mercury retrograde starting, I think, in September. And everything kind of starts to slow down even prior to Mercury going into retrograde. So, um, but this, I feel like, is happening for a lot of you in August, okay? Um, so... Uh, you maybe have been waiting on this divorce um, to either finalize or come through, waiting on a good time to, and trying to decide what you want to do as far as the divorce or breakup. Some of you, it's just a breakup. Some of you, this has been coming for a long time, and you've been thinking about it for a long time, but the universe is finally saying, you know what, you can't put it off any longer. It has to happen. It's happening now, okay? And so... It feels to me that I feel like it's going to happen. Um, for those of you who also, uh, you know, again, may have, you know, this came up for one of the other signs too. Maybe, you know, in that mind frame of, is this going to happen if I don't do anything? Well, no. If you do nothing and you don't, file the paperwork or your partner doesn't file the paperwork or you just, you know, you don't decide to end things. No, it's not going to happen. No. Uh, for those of you who, uh, this is kind of already in the works, you know, this is coming. You, they know it's coming. It, this to me is not going to be, even though the tower is like sudden boom impact, the justice card is contemplation. To me, it's contemplation. It's things getting resolved. So it kind of softens the blow of the tower. It's expected. I feel like this divorce or this breakup is has been a long time coming for some of you, okay? So uh, now, for those of you who are not in a relationship, um, I don't necessarily feel like I like the energy for you, those of you who are single, um, I feel like 
uh, you may have some other legal thing going on that's aside from, that's not, you know, relationship related. Um, you may have some kind of legal thing, you know, you're waiting on a settlement kind of thing. Um, but I also don't like, um, it's almost like the thing that follows, um, uh, there may be something unexpected that happens in conjunction with this legal thing, okay, that's going on, okay? Maybe some, you know, uh, clean, cleaning house. I feel like cleaning house is, is what, what's coming to me. Um, where, you know, you're getting rid of stuff or there's some major changes that are going on. Big, sudden changes. Um... I also feel like this could also be someone that you know, um, cause it can represent, you know, it can represent some of the negative stuff, which I don't even really want to go there because I feel like people think it's scaremongering or whatever. So I almost don't even want to say it, but it can represent car accidents and it can represent death. Okay. And I'm sorry to say that, but this is the truth. Okay. I'm not going to hold back. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. For those of you who can't handle it, click the off, you know, click the stop button. Um, this is, you know, what I see and I don't, you know, again, I don't sugarcoat it for anybody. So cancer to me if you're not in a partnership okay and you're not getting a breaking up or getting a divorce mid-august or in august at some time okay um this is either you or somebody you know getting into an accident or passing away okay that's kind of how i see it uh, but this is karmic this is timely this is not something that uh yes it may Okay, so for those of you getting a divorce, it's not unexpected that you're getting a divorce or you're breaking up. For those of you who are breaking up, it's, it's not going to come as a shock. But there may be, for those of you who are single, there may be something that happens in the middle of August that does come as a shock to you, you know? Uh, but this is a karmic thing. Uh, and this was supposed to happen. So maybe, you know, somebody passes away and you weren't expecting it. You get a phone call and, and you're like, whoa, what just happened? You know, I don't feel like and I'm getting, there are some of you who, um, may be thinking about doing kind of some kind of risk, you know, there's risky things that you're doing and this is not a time to take risks. Mid August is not a time for you to take some risks, cancer. I don't feel okay. Uh, and we're talking also investments, uh, I would avoid, um, then again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you my psychic opinion. Um, this is not a time for investments. This is not a time for, um, I, I would say this is not a time for travel for you. Uh, you know, uh, not in the middle of August. I feel like this is, you know, you're clearing house, you're clearing things out, getting rid of old stuff, getting rid of old relationships, making room for the new. The universe is basically forcing you to do so. Um, in order to make room for the new, something that's been hanging around has to go, you know, um, to, to have that space there. Um, and you have to let some things go. So I feel like the, I want to say, you know, you're going to be working on letting things go in the middle of August, um, that maybe you've hung on to for quite some time. Um, and it's really, it is positive in the end and you may not feel like it is in the, in the beginning, um, or even in the middle of August when you're going through it, it just, it doesn't feel like, but at the same time, again, it's, a, there's lesson to be learned from it. There's something going on there that you're, you're going to be learning from this experience. Um, and for those of you who are single, um, this is not a time to do any kind of risk taking. Um, I want to say, you know, the words risk management are coming to my mind. So, you know, this is damage control. Okay. Uh, and I'm not saying, you know, if you have a plan to go sky drive, diving or bungee jumping, you can't do it. I'm saying this is not a time to, uh, actively go, go do that. If that's something that you know, you've wanted to do for a while, August would not be the time. Okay. Not the time for it. Uh, but then again, you know, you have to live your life. Uh, I'm not telling you to stop living your life. I have several sweatshirts that say live your life. I totally am supportive of that. But, um, 
I want to say there's the, when the tower is and come, what's coming in from the outside, hold on to your seat because there's going to be some big changes happening, you know, um, things that you're not expecting necessarily. But then again, for those of you who are breaking up or getting divorced, that to me is expected. Um, other things like a car accident, a death in the family, you know, those may not be. And so that's what I feel like something of that nature is going to be taking place. It can also be, you know, your home environment, moving, changing homes, um, changing careers, big shifts happening in your job. Now, I don't want any of you to panic and be like, oh, am I going to lose my job? I'm, gonna, no, I'm not saying that that's, that's going to happen. Um, I feel like this has a more legal feel to it because you have the justice card right next to the tower. So it to me feels a lot more like those of you who have any legal things going on, you know, there may be something that pops up that you're not expecting, which um, I feel like will be in your favor. I want to say that. But not for everybody. Some people, it's going to be a real shock, um, and it's intense, you know, information. Um, I do want to move on to the card in the position of emotions, which is the nine of wands. And this is all it's interesting because you guys get this a lot. Um, I started to think of this as a cancer trait, you know, looking back at the past, waiting. Maybe some of you have been waiting on a settlement or something. Um, but there's some aspect of the unexpected there with that. Um, so, um, my, my advice is to forget about it, for, to forget about the settlement, forget about your legal stuff and do something else and distract yourself with something else. If possible, don't wait for it. Uh, move on with your life. Stop, stop waiting. Um, stop looking back at the past, live in the more of the now, now moment, um, and start planning. I always say this to cancer, start planning your future. You're, you're really just focused too much on the past. Um, and the way to overcome <laughs> this is to, um, you know, be, you know, very passionate, focus more on passionate romance. Um, uh, you got the passion cards, the ace of wands, really great card. Um, for, I mean, this is how to overcome the past. You need to get kind of fired up about life. You have to get fired up about people, relationships, sex. Some of you may not have had sex in a while. It's time to like dust off the cobwebs and get back in the game. Um, some of you, there's some cheating stuff going on. Um, the reason that this, that, that this, you know, breaking up is happening is because of cheating. I feel like some of you got caught cheating, um, and some of you have caught somebody else cheating. So that's one of the reasons this divorce or breakup is going, is, is going to take place. Um, but the universe is sort of like, if there's cheating or if there's somebody else involved, the universe is saying, you know what, this can't go, this can't continue we're just going to take, we're going to just end this, you know? So that's why it's coming to an end. It's not coming to an end because I feel, um, I feel like your relationship, if you're in one, it's coming to an end because it's time and because they're not the right person for you and you have to let go and you have to say, okay, this is not the right person for me, uh, for whatever reason. And, and I talk to the people about this a lot and I say this, you know, and I may have said this before in some of my other videos, but you don't need a reason to get a divorce or break up. You just say, I'm done. It's over. That's it. And some people may not like that, um, kind of, you know, kind of cutthroat approach, but a lot of people will say well, they, they either try to catch their partner cheating or hope their partner does cheat or move on, or they hope, you know, that they find somebody else, that they can cling to somebody else and then move on. I mean, that's all basically an insurance policy. That's, that's getting an insurance policy in a relationship. And that basically guarantees nothing. It's a, the anti-insurance policy. People say it's an insurance policy and it's not, uh, because you can't base a new relationship, um, on the mistrust of the old relationship. So there's no foundation. 
it just doesn't work. Um, I mean, it's, I mean, sometimes, I mean, for some people, yeah, um, because some people need to have that kind of security, and cancers need security. It's very important to have security for cancers. But um, my suggestion is don't wait for a reason, and I don't feel like the universe is going to let you wait any longer, okay? Um, I feel like you've been waiting on a settlement. It may not be... For some of you, it may not, the settlement may not be what you're thinking, and it may really rock the boat for you, and you may be very upset about it. Um, so I'm forewarning you there. However, I feel like predominantly there's just, um, there's just issues in your relationship, there's issues with cheating, and that's causing, um, causing there to be problems. In some ways, it's sort of like your partner may be the one who's cheating and you may be, you may have like stopped having sex with your partner for years, you know, and it's time to actually start having sex again and get back out there. Um, you, you do have the 10 of cups crossing you. So, uh, I do feel like you need to make a little room in your life for love and sex and romance. Uh, this is the whole ball of wax. Okay. I do also see it as being a great financial card and this is crossing you. So for the rest of the spread, you have a really, really, like I said, positive spread. Um, you have the chariot in the center of everything, which is swift, fast success. You may be in a relationship with an Aquarius currently message me if you are, um, because I think the Aquarius, is it Aquarius that got this? It might have been Aquarius. I feel like it's actually more Capricorn. It's actually Capricorn. So Cancers, you might be in a relationship with the Capricorn, okay? Um, and, I mean, for the Chariot to be crossed by the Ten of Cups, that's love coming your way very quickly. And you don't even really see it. It's like, it, and it may happen very, very fast. Um... Part of me wants to tell you to slow down just a little bit. You know, you don't want to rush it. At the same time, it's all good. So if you get into like a whirlwind romance, you know, kind of situation, I feel like it's very really positive. I, I do. I feel like it's very positive and I feel like you're going to be really happy in it. And, um, you know, I feel like, I feel like things are going to work out for you. However... I feel like because you have this divorce, like, sort of impending, or breakup that's impending, it is just, like, impending doom, uh, it, I'm just, it's not doom, it's not doom and gloom, okay, um, but let's just say, you know, it feels like, it feels like this could also be your partner cheating, sleeping around with somebody else, that's their, that's coming up for you. That's them. Okay. That may not be you. Although I, I like to think that you're in the center of everything. So to me, the 10 of cups is you. Okay. Um, so, and it may be both. You may have somebody on the side if you're in a relationship and they may have somebody on the side. Okay. Which is why I feel like you're ultimately going to break up. Um, but I feel like the relationship, whatever is going on right now in this moment, beginning of August is really positive. So I don't feel like that's the thing that's going to end because I don't feel like that's, uh, I don't necessarily feel like that's the long-term partnership. I feel like that's something new, something that's happening very quickly. It's new development because the chariot to me is new. It's news, it's new, it's, it's swift, it's success. Um, there's a lot of th good things. I mean, there's so many good things about the Chariot as well as the Ten of Cups. I could go on for hours and hours about these two cards. The, the Chariot, to me, is things happening very fast, very quickly, but it's really, really positive. It's absolute success, okay? And the Ten of Cups is, um, a lot of times, it can indicate one night stand or a love affair, but... Um, and, and it might be for you that, you know, there's some kind of love affair or third party thing going on for you. Um, but it's also, you know, love, romance, bliss, and happiness. I mean, the whole thing, everything that you could possibly want in a partnership. Um, so some of you cancers may be 
you know, you may have met the love of your life. You know, maybe that's why you're getting divorced. Maybe you realize, oh my God, I met the love of my life and it's this is who they are. This is what I want, you know. Um, for, for some people, that's what it is. Um, I want to say that for the majority, I feel like it's more complicated than just uh, you meeting this person and you riding off in the sunset together. Um, I feel like there's other things going on in uh, your world that are, like I said, more complicated. So it's a complicated, to me, it feels like it's more of a complicated relationship. Um, you may also just have the hots for somebody. Those of you who are single, it may just, you, you have the hots for somebody. Um, now, this came up for Capricorn as well, so you may have some strong, you know, Capricorn in your chart, uh, but this is, you got the chariot, and the chariot is sports, you know, so some of you are playing a lot of sports, some of you are on sports teams, you're, you know, there's an element of sports here, um, where you're very sports focused, um, maybe you're going to some sports events, um, and I feel like you're very busy. I feel like in August, this is a very busy time for you. But I feel like this is a crucial time for relationships. Very, very crucial for you. For those of you who are single, um, you may be getting, I feel like, a promotion from work. Um, and you also may have an increase in finances. I feel like that's coming through very strongly for you. Um, you have the Page of Wands as the foundation, which is a fire foundation. For that, for you, that's awesome. Because this will, you know, put the little bee in your bonnet to get you going, you know, and um, give you a little buzz, little little fire. Um, you have several fire elements here. You got the four of wands, you got the page of wands, you got the ace of wands. So I feel like August is a great time for you. I feel like it's it's activating either some really positive go get them, um, you know inspiration for you. I feel like it's almost inspiring you to make the changes necessary in your life. It's inspiring you to um, do what you want, to do something different, to do something new, um, to kind of change your perspective. Although I feel like you're really stuck on the past. I feel like in a lot, it's going to take a lot to change your perspective. I feel like you have what's needed in order to tap into it, in order to make it happen. Um, now, in the recent past, you got the Queen of Cups, which is a great card. Um, this is a card about trust. I feel like, and this is you, Cancer, for some of you uh, Cancer ladies. There's a lot of, um, I don't feel like there's a lot of Cancer guys in this reading, although you do have the Nine of Wands, which is, to me, a Cancer guy. It doesn't always have to be, but it can a lot of times be Cancer guy looking back at the past. And you do also have... Um, the sun, which is, I think of as a cancer guy, um, who has a lot of Leo in his chart, uh, in the position of your attitude. Uh, but going back to the queen of cups, you know, this is cancer ladies going through a time of transition, um, going from one phase of your life to the next. This can also indicate, I feel like some of you are moving. Uh, there's some major changes going on. I feel like in your residence, in your relationship, um, for those of you who aren't in a relationship, you know, this is you moving, this is you going out there um, and being active and kind of living living large. Uh, it's really, really great energy for you. Um, I do feel like you got the Freedom from Worry card, the Six of Swords, which I really like um, for you because this indicates, um, you know, it's also another card about moving. Um, I don't, you didn't get any like major moving cards. I don't feel like you're doing any like major moves in August. I feel like some of you are going to be like remodeling your house or like revamping your house. Um, I'm getting like a little tingle on that. Um, you know, maybe refurnishing your house, something to do with your house. Um, but also the Six of Swords is um, moving away from like, troubling times where you know you're worried a lot I and mean, this is no longer you know this is something you're a phase or a time that you're moving away from you're moving out of okay um 
and you're sleeping better. This is you getting better sleep at night or needing to get better sleep at night, okay? Um, so, so that's what's crowning you. The Six of Swords is crowning you. So that to me is, is happening, you know, the beginning of August, okay? You're going to start to feel that right away. And that's really, really positive. Leaving your own troubles behind you, you know? It's the, uh, I love this, the Bridge Over Troubled Water card. I'm totally going to make that now. I have to write that down. It is. I'm going to that song in my head, um, you know? The Simon and Garl phone call, I think, is bridge over troubled water. Pretty sure. Anyways, um, so yeah, so that's what's crowning you. So the last two cards, though, are to me the best best part. Okay, so the end of August is gonna be really great for you. I don't feel. I feel like the beginning of August is really really good. The end of August is really good. I feel like the the trouble's gonna come sort of probably in the mid mid August at some point. Could be even earlier than that. Um, but. Uh, that's when that's when you, things are going to get a little bit sticky. Uh, but the end of August, because you have these two cards together, is really, really awesome. I'm going to show you. So you have this card, which is the sun, which is riding off into the sunset, being really positive. And I do see this as being you. And this means you have a really positive attitude. If this shows up in the place, your, your attitude, especially Cancer guys, this is really awesome, you know? Um, and... The outcome is the joy card. So it's sort of like where the sun card shows up, it just it shines light onto the next card. It amplifies, right? So it's sort of like the sun card is amplifying the four of wands, which is already like beautiful. It's all about summertime. It's happy family time. It's being very joyful. It's really good news. You have two cards about really good news. Two cards. So... Uh, you got the chariot and you have the four of wands. So I'd be very surprised if there wasn't something very positive or two very positive things that are happening for you in August. Um, one in the beginning um, and then one at the end. So it's like a cycle, you know, you're in a cycle for August. Um, you have the highs and then you have the low and then you come back up again to another high. Um, so... Um, I do feel like you are going to spend a lot of time with family. Cancer is such a family-oriented um, sign. Um, if you're not very close with your family, I feel like you're just going to, you know, party like a rock star on your own. You may have friends that you hang out with. Um, this is a really great time for friends and spending time with them. Um, I'd say cancer ladies. The other word of caution is, is with the sun card, um, this can represent a male who has a lot of fire energy and you want to be careful about getting too close to him okay um it, it could be another cancer too it could be can female cancer with male cancer although it's just too much i feel like it's very it's almost too much water um i i i don't really know how that's that would work um but um he may have a lot of, again, fire energy in his, in his charts so that may kind of balance things out. But um, this is a guy that you want to just be careful about setting your boundaries, setting your limits, um, going very slowly in a relationship. Um, he can kind of rush in and rush out and you don't know what happened. You know what I mean? It's like that guy that comes in and you start dating and things happen really, really fast. And then suddenly you never hear from him again. You're like, what just happened? Um, did that really just happen? Like what's going on? You know, uh, that kind of thing. Um, there may also be, and they're drawing my attention to these, this kind of tussle here at the bottom with these birds, you know, I feel like there is going to be some family drama. If you do spend time with family, son, there may be specifically a girl in your family that causes some problems. Um, you may be like a cousin or sister or aunt or something that, that you don't really particularly get, a, get along with. Um, and... I feel like, you know, it's your very your family I feel like is very clicky. I want to say the word clicky. Um, some are on your side and then some are not on your side. Um, 
On the positive note, some of you may be very much in tune with the fairies. And you may have a fairy. I feel like someone has a fairy around them. And they're actually being guided by that fairy. And the fairy is really helping them. Um, there's just a connection to the fairies. Okay, but for some of you, it's going to be where there's some family drama and issues. And you have to, you know, it's almost like you have to form an alliance with people that really want the best for you and keep your eye out for people that are lead, trying to lead you in the wrong direction or lead you astray or don't believe in you. Um, you want to be, you know, look for people that are really going to support you. And don't engage, don't get caught up in the drama. If possible, you know, don't, don't argue, don't get involved in the arguing, because it's only going to just ruffle your feathers. I feel like this is a card about somebody whose feathers do get ruffled. So, and I feel like that's you, Cancer. So don't, you know, I have my brother in my head. Don't let it get to you, Beth. You know, and I'm like, well, it always gets to me. So <laughs> you might as well be quiet because, you know, it always gets to me. So um, the way for it to not get to you is by not engaging, by keeping your distance, by not calling them, by not talking to them. These people that are you know, trying to push your buttons, just walk away, distance yourself, leave. Um, and I know it's hard if you're going to like a family function. I feel like some of you are going to do some barbecuing or whatever, going to a family function. You can't always leave. If you have keys to your car, you can always leave. So always have an escape route, cancer. Um, that's my advice for you. Uh, other than that, I think I've covered pretty much everything. Like I said, the beginning of um, August, things are really going very good, I think, for you. Towards the end, um, things are also going to get back to a really good positive place, but it's sort of in the middle is when things might get a little bit tough. Um, so you may want to watch this video again towards the end of August um, just to see how things turn out. Um, definitely let me know how things are going and, um, you know, feel free to, to let me know if you would like a private reading, uh, reach out to me again. My email is Elizabeth Olson 31 at Gmail and I do wish you guys all the best. So I'm going to send you big hugs like usual, big hugs, big kisses. And I will talk to you guys again soon. I'll be back again for my mid August readings, so stay tuned for more. Thanks so much, guys. Take care.